Are you tired of power outages and unreliable electricity? Or perhaps you're building in a remote area where Kenya power hasn't reached? An off-grid solar system might be the perfect solution for you. In this video, we'll explain how off-grid systems work, what equipment you need, the costs involved, and why it could transform your home's energy setup, especially if you're in a rural area or want complete energy independence. How off-grid solar systems work Off-grid systems are independent solar power setups that do not rely on the national grid. Think of it as having your own mini power company right in your compound. Here's how it works. First, the solar panels capture energy from the sun. Secondly, the energy flows into a charge controller which regulates the voltage. Thirdly, it's then stored in batteries for later use, especially at night. And fourthly, an inverter converts the stored energy into AC power that your appliances can use. This means your home can run smoothly on solar power even during cloudy days or at night. Here's the essential equipment you'll need for an off-grid system. You'll need solar panels as these capture sunlight and generate electricity. You'll also need a charge controller. This regulates voltage and prevents battery overcharging. You'll need a battery bank which stores power for use during nighttime and cloudy days. Another thing you'll need is the inverter, which converts DC power from batteries to AC power for your appliances. And the other thing you'll need is the wiring and mounting structures, as these connect the system safely and secure the panels. Every component is crucial. Missing any one of them will compromise your entire system. Here's why more Kenyans, especially in rural areas, are choosing off-grid solar. The first reason is complete energy independence. This means you have freedom from Kenya power blackouts. The second thing is it's ideal for remote homes, which is perfect for areas without any grid access. The other reason is that it's environmentally friendly because you're replacing diesel generators with clean energy. And the last reason is long-term savings. After initial investment, electricity becomes essentially free. But it's more than just convenience. Off-grid power creates opportunities, powering water pumps for farming, keeping food fresh in fridges, and providing light for students to study after dark in remote areas. Now, let's talk costs. Off-grid systems require a bigger initial investment than grid-tied ones, primarily due to the batteries. However, you're investing in your own permanent power supply. A little disclaimer, finding the prices proved a difficult task as I was researching about off-grid systems. I did find some prices, but they may not be accurate. So please take your time and do your research as you shop around. For a small rural home running basic lights, TV, and a fridge, for example, a 3 kilowatt uh, solar panels can cost around 200,000 shillings. An off grid 3 kilowatt inverter can cost around 120,000 shillings. A 7.2 kilowatt hour battery bank, which is lithium ion based, can cost 300,000 shillings. A charge controller, the MPPT version 60 amps can cost around 25,000 shillings. The mounting and wiring can cost between 50,000 to 80,000 shillings. So the total estimated cost for this system is between 600 to 750,000 shillings. Though this is a significant reinvestment, remember, you will no longer pay for tokens, monthly bills, or deal with blackouts for years to come. Battery matters, choose wisely. The battery 
is a key part of your off-grid system. In Kenya, most people go for either gel batteries. These are cheaper, maintenance-free, but offer a shorter lifespan. And the lithium-ion batteries. These are more expensive, but longer life and offer you better performance. What to watch out for? Before you dive in, here are some key considerations. Make sure your battery bank is big enough to provide reliable power even during cloudy days. Lithium batteries have a higher upfront cost but offer better longevity than gel batteries. Go for maximum power point tracking or MPPT charge controllers. These are more advanced and help you harvest more energy from your panels. Off-grid systems don't benefit from net metering. Without a KPLC connection, you can't sell surplus power back to the grid. And lastly, install a backup generator to ensure power supply during extended rainy seasons. Careful planning at this stage will prevent headaches down the road. Is off-grid right for you? Off-grid solar is ideal if you live in a rural area without grid access. You require reliable 24-7 power, such as for a clinic, school, or home office. You desire complete energy independence, and you're prepared for a higher upfront investment. However, if you live in Nairobi or another urban area with stable grid access, you may want to consider a hybrid system instead. Final tip, work with the right people. Always work with an EPRA licensed solar installer. They'll help size your system correctly and ensure everything is safe and efficient. Avoid shortcuts. Cheap components often fail faster and cost you more in the long run. To learn more about retired and hybrid solar systems, watch either video up next. I'll see you there.